Today I'm going to help you unbox the X5 so it's ready to film with the best settings and I'm also going to share with you how to edit your first 360 video. So let's get started. Open the X5 box. Remove all the plastic packaging from the X5. Place the X5 back in the box for safekeeping. Remove the white box and open it up. In here is a carry case. In the carry case, there are two accessories, a cleaning cloth to clean the X5 lenses, and a Type-C to C USB cable to charge the X5 and transfer files between the X5 and computer. Store the cleaning cloth in the carry case side pocket and place the X5 in the carry case for safekeeping. The X5 lens cap is another great way to protect the lenses, but it is an additional purchase. In the white box, there are also documents and stickers. Next, let's set up the micro SD card, and this is really important so you don't get any technical errors when recording. The micro SD card I recommend for the X5 is the Sandus Extreme Pro 1TB V30 micro SD card. It can record up to 11 hours and 31 minutes of 8K 30 frames per second video. To insert the micro SD card, pinch the two clips on the battery to remove it. Insert the micro SD card into the SD slot and push it in until it clicks. Insert the battery and make sure both clips click into place without the orange color showing. This ensures the X5 is properly closed. If you were thinking about buying the X5, then check out my affiliate link for discounts and free accessories in the video description. If you are not ready to buy now, check the link again in the future because the discounts and free accessories changes throughout the year. Next, let's charge the X5 battery. To charge the X5, open the side door, connect one end of the cable, connect the other end of the cable into a Type-C USB plug, insert the plug into a socket and switch it on, the X5 will light up and flash to show it's charging. When the X5 battery is fully charged, the light will stay a solid green color. Next, let's connect the X5 to the Insta360 app to activate it, keep it up to date and ready to edit. To connect the X5 to the Insta360 app, go to the App Store, search for Insta360, tap the Insta360 app and download it. Make sure Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is switched on. Turn on the X5. Open the Insta360 app. Allow for access. Agree to the terms and conditions. Enable network, Bluetooth, album, local network, and tap go to app. Sign in here or skip, tap yes, tap skip, tap connect, tap confirm on the X5, tap the preferred language and next, tap join, tap activate, Tap done. And now the X5 is connected to the Insta360 app. If the X5 does not connect to the Insta360 app, then try this method instead. On the X5, go to settings, Wi-Fi settings. If the Wi-Fi status is off, then tap always on to turn on the X5 Wi-Fi. On the phone, go to Wi-Fi settings, Wait for the X5 Wi-Fi hotspot to pop up. Tap the X5 Wi-Fi hotspot. Enter the Wi-Fi password shown on the X5.
tap join, wait for the X5 to connect, open the Insta360 app and now the X5 is connected. Next, let's finish setting up the micro SD card so it's ready to start filming without any technical errors. Go to settings, SD card, format, confirm, and now the micro SD card is ready to use. If this video is helpful so far, then hit the like button right now and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Next, let's set the best camera settings. The settings I use will give the best done for you video straight out of the camera so I spend less time editing and more time filming. 99% of the time I use 360 video mode at 8K 30 frames per second. In the exposure settings, I use the vivid color profile. In the settings, image settings, I use H.265 video encoding. Bitrate is set to high. Video sharpness is set to medium. And that's it, the settings are done. To never record blurry or noisy 360 video ever again, download my free X5 cheat sheets in the video description. Next, let's film and edit your first 360 video. It's going to be a simple selfie shot. To capture this shot, I am using the Best 360 150 centimeter selfie stick. And this is the only selfie stick in the world to feature four pins in the base and four pins in the tip to stop these parts from breaking off the selfie stick. I have experienced this problem in the past, that's why I decided to make my own selfie stick. So if you experience this problem in the future, you know which selfie stick to get. I set the X5 to 360 video mode at 8K 30 frames per second. To film the shot, I extended the selfie stick in front of me, the camera position is at shoulder level, and I walked forward for 20 seconds. To edit this shot, I will turn on the X5, connect the X5 to the Insta360 app, tap connect, tap join, I will tap the shot I recorded in the album. I will trim the start and end of the video to remove the parts where I start and stop recording. So I will move the left marker inwards to trim the first few seconds. And I'll move the right marker inwards to trim the last few seconds. I can continue to edit this shot with the X5 connected, but if I want to edit the shot without the X5 connected, then I will download a trimmed version of this video to the phone. So to do this, I will go back, select the shot, tap download, and tap trimmed clip to download the trimmed version to the phone. When it's finished downloading, I can now turn off the X5 and edit the shot on the phone. In the downloaded tab, I can see all the videos I downloaded to the phone. And this is the video I just downloaded. And now I can edit this video without the X5 connected to the phone. To edit this shot, I will use keyframes. At the beginning of the timeline, I will look towards myself, add a keyframe, and I will change the rotation to minus 30 degrees. Then I will move forward to reveal the crazy face in the background. Add a keyframe, and I'll change the rotation to 30 degrees in the opposite direction. And this is just to make the crazy face look more quirky. I will position myself in the middle and update the keyframe. Then one second later in the timeline, I will add a keyframe, reset the rotation back to zero, 
and then I'm going to look in the opposite direction of where I'm walking, update the keyframe. Next, I'm going to speed up the footage by two times speed. So I'll go to edit, speed, entire clip, and I will select two times speed. And now when I play this back, I have a selfie shot.